I think centropic agriculture is misunderstood a lot because it's seen solely as a form of doing agriculture or a concept for agriculture. But actually, in reality, it's a philosophy and a lifestyle. This week, I have a group of friends and colleagues around that are helping me to plant one of the newest fields that is going to have a total of about 25,000 trees that we're planting. This project here has as one of its main goals cool. to apply and test the principles and techniques of syntropic agriculture in the Mediterranean context, which this form of agriculture originated in the tropical context of Brazil and it is very well uh, represented there. But here in the Mediterranean climate, there are still few examples. And so one of my objectives in creating this space here is and was to make a living laboratory where I myself can get an experience, but then also other people can come and learn from my lessons and where I can share these whole processes. I was studying a master degree in organic agriculture at Wageningen University. And for my internship, I had to do an internship, I decided to come to this farm to work and study the type of agroforestry that is applied here. So in the end, I worked for six months on this location uh, with Mark, working in, uh, in the field and analyzing the system. The assumption is that using the plants, the, the microclimate can be regulated. And so the plants can actually be used to improve the conditions for living things. And so that can be for other plants that follow those plants, but it can also be for the microbes in the soil, it can be for the ants, it can be for the bees and eventually the birds. And of course, we try to create conditions to have a system that supports our own survival. So create a, a system that produces food so we can survive. With these techniques of centropic agriculture, where we use many different species together and all of this has a logic behind it of how we combine these species. We help through this consortium to create the conditions that each one of them needs and they become much more resilient to droughts, to heat waves, to frost events and all of these things. There was a lot of people in the beginning that were calling me crazy and saying, oh, this is not going to work, you'll see it, things won't grow and ah, you're planting eucalyptus, it will destroy everything and blah, blah, blah. And now they come and they're like, wow, what have you done? What has grown here? And like, this is amazing. And they, a lot of people in the area that have uh, seen this process from the beginning and potentially also help, like imagine like tractor driver that helps me prepare the soil or um, the person that brings me horse manure or something like that. They see how this was in the beginning and they see it now and they get excited and they, ex they are happy to come and contribute with these tractor hours or bringing the manure or helping me with other things because they know to what they're contributing. Mark, there's a new thing here. I think he has worked well. It's good that he has a life. We have to look more for this. I think he has to look and see what he was doing. Now we'll see if he's going to give us fruits. I think so. We don't believe that we are the intelligent ones, but we are part of the intelligent system. And that system is what gives the rules for what we are able to do and what we're not able to do. And so our core objective is to follow that system and its laws and its principles, apply that into a form of agriculture that then produces what we need to satisfy our metabolism. And so we believe that we're part of this large macroorganism which in this case, you could call it this plantation, but in the end, it's also the whole Iberian Peninsula and the whole planet Earth, the whole solar system, the whole universe, the whole cosmos is one living being. And that is following a certain series of laws and trends. And we, with our presence here, attempt to apply these principles and favor them. So to work in favor of these cosmic forces and with them. Proyecto financiado con el apoyo económico del programa LIFE de la Unión Europea.